Point number one is God chose people. I am speaking the truth in Christ. I am not lying. My conscience bears me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great sorrow and unceasing anguish in my heart. Verse 3, for I could wish that I myself were a Christian cut off for the sake of my brothers, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. They are Israelites, and to them belong the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. See, God, I want you to get this, chose a particular people, the Jews. But more than that, he chose you. God made you in his image. God knit you in your mother's womb. What Paul is pointing out here is is that there's a particular people that God chose, that God cares about people. Before you get way off into uh, my free will, God's sovereignty, these huge things, let's remember God is a choosing God. Let's remember, Journey family, our word for this year is chosen. Our word for this year is chosen. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a people for God's own possession, that God is a choosing God. And he doesn't have to be a choosing God. He chooses to be a choosing God. No one forces him to do it. No one requires him to do it. God loves you and made you in his image with dignity and value and worth. Why why are there protests against the murder of a black man? Because individuals have dignity, value, and worth. Because of our worldview. It means that God chooses. Now, this is important for Paul because Paul was chosen by God. Paul uh, was a murderer of Christians. Uh, Paul uh, was a very religious person. And yet Jesus chose him and met him on the road to Damascus and saved Paul. And I think it, it's important for us to to sit in a moment and say, God's chosen me. God loves me. God chooses to show his glory through you. And that is an incredible reality. Just as he chose to show it through his people, the Jews, that promise extends all through those who trust in Jesus.